Hi, I'm Chef John Placco with Modern Culinary Academy and Powder for Texture. And today I'm going to show you how to do reverse spherification. I have some cherry juice in the blender and I'm going to turn the blender on a low speed. And first I'm going to add the calcium lactate gluconate to let it dissolve. Now I'm going to add the xanthan gum and I'm putting it through a fine sieve just to make sure we don't get any lumps. We want it to rain in gently. We're going to lightly thicken this liquid. Good, so now that the powders have dissolved in the liquid, I'm going to pour the liquid into a measuring jug. And before I pour it into these hemisphere molds, I'm going to add the alcohol marinated cherries. Now I'm going to cover the cherries with the liquid. So now we're going to put this in the freezer and let it set. So now we're going to make the setting bath. We're going to use the sodium alginate and to avoid any lumping, we're going to add equal amount of maltodextrin and then mix the two together before we actually add it to the water. So we're going to blend it on a low speed until it's completely mixed well. Normally I put it through a fine sieve so you're actually raining it in in powder form and avoiding any lumps. And then we're going to strain it and place it in a vessel. And this will be the setting bath. And our cherry spheres have come out of the freezer and they're nicely frozen. And I'm going to be placing them into the setting bath. So now that our 20 minutes are up, our spheres have been set. Now using a strainer, we're going to lift out the sphere, give it a little rinse here in some fresh cold water and then I'm going to take the excess water off onto some absorbent paper. And now the sphere would go onto your plate and it's full of the cherry juice with the marinated cherry. We're just gonna cut it to show the liquid inside. Mm.